Zebras has a few different ways to approach booleans. Let's cover them. These are called boolean operators and they affect the type of boolean process that will take effect. Subtract one subtool from another by placing the subtractive subtool under the additive one. Next, set subtool boolean mode to subtract. And now merge the subtools together with the merge down button. Lastly, Dynamesh the newly merged subtool. Processing time depends on the Dynamesh resolution. In this example, we will set this rocky texture subtool boolean mode to subtract. First, ensuring that we placed it under the chest piece I want to subtract from. Next, merge down the two pieces. And you'll notice that subtractive meshes always have a white polygroups. At this point, Dynamesh to process. In order to process the intersect boolean operation with Dynamesh, You'll need to open your Dynamesh submenu and click the AND button here. ZBrush will leave you with the intersection of your two meshes. After inserting meshes into your subtool, you can set any visible mesh to be a subtractive piece by opening the Polygroup submenu. Next, locating and clicking the Group as Dynamesh sub button. Your mesh will turn white as visual confirmation. Now simply Dynamesh normally to see its results. Hollow out your mesh with the Create Shell button. Use Boolean operators or Group as Dynamesh Sub to mark subtractive meshes. Next, set a value on the Thickness slider and press the Create Shell button to view its results. Live Booleans is a better approach. With your subtool boolean mode set, open the render menu and under your render sub menu, press and enable the live boolean mode. This will allow you to preview the effects of your boolean prior to processing it. You can move, scale, rotate, and sculpt on the boolean mesh no different than any other subtool. Also, note if you solo mode the subtractive boolean mesh, you will view it normally. When you are ready to turn your live boolean results into actual geometry, locate the boolean tab in the subtool submenu. Press the make boolean mesh button to combine all visible subtools along with your live boolean's preview into a single Z tool. You will find the new mesh is added to your Z tool section. Booleans is a very intuitive and powerful way to sculpt hard surface forms in ZBrush. In the next clip, we will discuss custom UI and hotkeys. See you there.